It is time to start a conversation about using the windfall profits of frozen Russian assets to jointly purchase military equipment for Ukraine. There could be no stronger symbol and no greater use for that money than to make Ukraine and all of Europe a safer place to live. <laughs> Honorable member of aggression against Ukraine is now in its third year and is more entrenched has shown and proven that it will support Ukraine successfully. <laughs> Is the right person. That's the first step, and that's a decisive step to have been able to seize. We don't have the legal basis to seize the Russian assets, and we should never act if we don't obey by the international law and by the rule of law. Because what is at the core of the European countries, at the core of the European construction, and at the core of the G7 values is the rule of law. This legal basis must be accepted not only by the European countries, not only by the G7 countries, but by all the member states of the world community, and I mean by all the member states of the G20. Die Europäische Union arbeitet deshalb daran, dass wir die Erträge aus eingefrorenen russischen Vermögenswerten zugunsten der Ukraine nutzen können. Das ist ein realistischer, rechtlich sicherer und auch kurzfristig umsetzbarer Schritt und darauf konzentrieren wir uns. Wir haben ja im Europäischen Rat uns bereits auf den Weg gemacht und ich erwarte jetzt in Kürze einen Vorschlag zur rechtlichen Umsetzung durch die Europäische Kommission.